that Renulz is trying to find wherever Shinka is, but he's below, he's hiding, he's playing smart about it, he still has an impact and might be able to actually defend this from below. The Slaymo will be shot right there, tries to actually ledge himself up right there, will be available to do so. This is not going to be putting off Renulz, and that means he might be able to get the defuse. Yes, he will. Shinka not being able to contest it, as he didn't look through the verticals, and it's going to be chaos to win that round due to, well, pros don't fake. This is the example right here. In the meantime, Emission opening up that wall with the upside down repel. You already see Shepard right here trying to contest the vertical angle. As soon as this will be opened up, you can expect a few quick shots from the TCSG to come through. Trying to uh, go for it there, but he's going to be spotting out that feet. Just there we go. The tank's coming through. You got to be careful because if you get down on a repel, you're instantly dead. There is no down to come through. So you really need to be careful about that one. You can actually see both Shepard and Joystick are really ready for those early entry points as Joystick is situated downstairs. Ready, watch out for that Zephyr, and there we go. Amnesian going down Bomb straight away. basically casted them every single week. And what happened was they would just send one person out in front, especially in Kofi. It's a very favorite map for them as they try to go for a spawn peak. Just a little bit of damage done onto Shinka. Reload canceling, he has to go for a second try. He can deny it, but he has to win the first gun fight. He gets it, close on the second, it's a down! Bosco with the big clutch! Base station take it, and that's gonna be match points. Op 4 has located a bomb. I never actually, I never even thought about this until just now. Wait a minute, hang on, whoa. <laughs> Slow down, hold the phone, <laughs> wait, wait just a, wait a tick. <laughs> no way. There's one more with him. Mavin Mats. Bosco in a 1v3. He'll find one, but he's stopped by a castle barricade, soft wall to his left. If he needs to, he can play off of these pings. But very smartly, United have moved over towards the bathroom. They'll get the diffuser down. Tracers through the wall as Bosco will just shrug off the play. He's got a castle barricade that's keeping him from being able to head on in. And because he chose that bulletproof, he can't break down that barricade with ease. He'll know that he's coming from a mile away. This should be a very easy hold for E United, despite Grixer's low HP. They'll continue to fire away. Bosco with one shot. He just needs to know where Callout is in a heads-up gunfight. These two gentlemen will be fighting 
for supremacy. Will Space Station take the lead? Bosco peeks around oh! the corner. No, my no. goodness. How does he make that does work? He know? But he's going to have to find the diffuser. He's got seven seconds to do it. He'll get on it. He'll have plenty of time. Good Lord, Space Station and Bosco. Well, he'll do it yet again. Bosco. Oh, we got our own soundtrack, dude. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Wait, it sounds like Hotem Shake. Canadian, he looks to spray through. He gets gunned down, caught in the crossfire by United, and they'll be able to get out of there with another diffuser down. That's three of the last four rounds where United's objective play has been tip top. 35 seconds, and you can never count out SSG. You know that they're going to be poised to strike back, but the problem for them is that E United are lined up very well to hold every single angle. But oh no, Rampy on the flank. He takes down two members of E United. Grixer will be there waiting. Who's going to win that gunfight? This could be it for everybody. Fultz takes down one another, and it's just Grixer now completely prone. He's sitting on a Claymore. He pops up, and he somehow wins the fight, turns towards the bandit, he falls off. There's not enough time to defuse. Excellent job for me, United. It doesn't matter if Grixer gets the kill or not. The clock is past the point of no return. Fultz knows it. And unfortunate stutters by SSG for their fans in the final seconds. E United managed to get off a very brazen play. Proximity alarm is Kanto looking to push in through China potentially. Just checking Mod and there's the kill onto Aces. Nice one there to tame these Roamers. D2 looking to be in a prime position. Didn't take out the default camp. Bit of a whoopsie, but it's all right. Now your cameras are mine, says Dekaivi. Uses that tablet to hack into the defensive cameras. Rogue needs to be over their shoulder after that one. And G2 in the driver's seat here, but when will this execute come about? There's plenty of time to make it happen. I like how the plane is very control game so far. Very drone heavy, very much based around these Intel operators. But Kanto is popping off in this round. Already got himself three. Can he make it the final two to get the ace? But behind him, Tengu is going for the plan. It was Ace's last round working the magic. This time no around it's way. Kanto getting no way. the ace. What more do you need to see from this man? From the first flick onto Aces' his head in the opening duel all the way through. In fact, it's going to be Joystick who gets the opening kill of the round onto Pasha, and things are starting to go backwards and forwards. Dan going to be going down as well, and suddenly things are looking very scary here for Team Empire as the diffuser goes down, and this leaves Shepard and Joystick on their own to try and figure out what they're going to do. Have to get those kills, and Mijin's going to be falling, and that means WTG is the last one. He's going to try and plant himself, but time runs out, and Team Empire take the round. Here against three players from Rogue. We've still got 60 seconds left as well. This isn't even an end of round rush or anything like that. It's just descended into a bit of chaos in the mid round. As you say, still five left alive right here. G2 can take a breather. We scope and imagine what these two players need to be doing together. Citizen has still got a drone in the back pocket and one on the field, I imagine, for a bit of flank watch. So they do still have the option to play with here and a bit of time to make use of it. But you're coming in here against two smoke canisters from Karjeka, who will be able to deal with you as you try and go. So mindful of that as this tries to get even lower. A bit of a blind run straight into the back corner here. And potentially a plant was about to come out from Pengu. And that smoke oh. not going to touch him. Just dead in the middle there, like shit right. passing in the night. Citizen finds one onto Rips. It's into a two versus two with 20 seconds left. And it's all down to Kyle Jekyll and Aces here. Attack no doubt two of the most bomb. capable players you will see in left. Europe. Equally, the plant is going down from Ten one of the most left. capable players. In Pengu, going to find no his way. Kelly stands up and sprays him down. Goes back down for the plant once more. Going to try and go behind the door. How on earth? Have G2 made this 2v3 work? Go to get back in the site. But Eric going down, so it's an even man count. But is he finding the refrag? The bandit just gonna fall down those stairs. And now it's just up to I Delta, who had a long way back into site. And they're gonna choose to go off of it as Habini is actually. Oh no, the pings are coming through in the diffuser! It's gonna go down! And I can see gonna win it out, I Delta, with the longest flank somehow. Coming through the pings, absolutely huge. But that is actually uh, not going to happen. Red Griff shuts him down, but instantly being refreshed. Only up to Crying right now. The uh, CL Gunner team kill coming in right there for P4. Another kill to come in. Crying is going to be able to bring it back to a one on one situation. Then P4 is going for the plank right now. Is it being called out? Yes, it is. The pre fire is missing it actually. Crying is not going to be able to uh, stop the plan to go through. He needs to go for the kill, and he will. It's Crying to go for the clutch right here. A 1v3 to go in. Yeah, quickly uh, put some more rounds into the head, make sure he's actually dead. 